Hello and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. Um, I just wanted to hop on and talk today about the full moon that we still currently have. Um, today is the second day of the full moon or I guess the more completed version or whatnot of the full moon. And I wanted to just be really real and transparent about how and what is like how I'm processing and, and what's coming up for me right now during this full moon because I feel like maybe a lot of other people might resonate with what I'm saying and I feel like I'm definitely not the only one going through this so I think quite a few of us are in our own heads and trapped a little bit in in the mind about certain things when it comes to relationships because this full moon uh, being in Libra definitely influences relationships and how we relate to other people and also how we relate to ourselves. Um, but first and foremost, it, this is very much about like partnerships uh, and how we view partnership or perhaps what kind of limitations we have around partnerships. And something that really specifically came up for me and it was coming up over the last two or three days and then I feel like it's I feel like it's actually peaking today like even yesterday I didn't feel the peak to the intensity that I feel it now um, and that has to do with just recognizing where I'm at within myself when it comes to relationships and when it comes to letting people in or letting someone in to my life um, if you've been watching my channel for some time then you're probably gonna know that I've been because I mentioned in a previous video that I've been single for a long time like a really long time uh, people don't even know how long it's been many 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 years uh, since I've had uh, any kind of like long-term you know romantic relationship and and now I'm it's almost like it's dawning on me now why it has been so long since I've had a relationship and I, I feel like it's also just coming full circle like there's this completion of a cycle or something within me that I'm feeling and it's it really just has to do with feeling safe and not having any fear around letting someone into my life um, and it's really interesting the way that this is that this energy is sort of emerging from me because you know we all tell ourselves I think that you know oh we're good and, and we're we're happy and we're healed and we're this and we're that and in reality there's always layers to our healing. There's always layers to, to where we're at, right? To our consciousness. And there's layers because it depends on what you allow in, what you don't allow in. It depends on how willing you are to let go of fear and to dismantle fear within yourself. And as much as I have been doing that in so many different areas of my life, and I feel this huge sense of power within me about letting fear go when it comes to a lot of different things the relationship part i guess is just sort of being more revealed to me now uh probably because of this full moon like it's just becoming this sort of aha moment and a realization within me of how much i have pushed relationships away and just been like mm, mm. <laughs> um, and i've done this energetically because i haven't done this physically this has been something that's just, it's been within me. There's this, I think there's just been this underlying layer of fear when it came to really letting somebody into my life. And if you can resonate with this, and I know especially like men have, you know, issues like with trusting women or just with like allowing someone into their life, um, especially men that have been really taken advantage of or that have gone through some real shit when it comes to relationships and trust um, and I know as a woman as a being someone who has gone through that several times like many times actually in my life of just attracting you know narcissists or attracting people that were really there just to because they wanted something from me because they wanted to sort of take something from me or they they but they really didn't have much to offer in return uh that's been my experience in the past um is just people wanting to take and not give a whole heck of a whole lot back 
Uh, and it, there's something about that. Like there's this processing within me. There is this realization, this awakening. There's something about that that's, that's coming to the surface right now for me. And just recognizing where I'm at and recognizing how like shit, like I've really like had that door closed. Like I really have not let someone in because I just felt safer and I felt more secure not sharing my energy. There was a complete desire for me to just not share my energy because I got to this point where I was so tired and I got so exhausted from, you know, going through this repeated cycle. And I know these cycles happen for us because they're really just there to teach us. They're, hel they're helping us to learn and to, you know, understand where we have imbalances within ourselves. I totally get that. But at the same time, it can be very exhausting to go through that journey, especially when you go through the journey repeatedly, like it repeats over and over. And just when you're like, okay, I think I'm better. I think I'm a bit more healed and I'm like, I'm ready to put myself out there. And it's like, as soon as you reach that point and you let somebody in and then it like happens again. So that <laughs> process happening to me over and over um, just sort of pushed me to a point of saying, fuck it, like, fuck it. I'm just going to close the door and <laughs> leave it like that because I can't, you know, it becomes exhausting emotionally, spiritually, mentally, physically exhausting to, to try to keep putting yourself out there and then getting sort of shit in return. Um, but now I'm recognizing and I'm, I, I, I'm, for some reason, this is just really strongly emerging from within me right now of like this feeling of like, that it's okay. Like, and, and it's time for me to open that door and it's time for me to, you know, unlock it and really be willing to entertain the idea of allowing someone in and really manifest the type of person that I want to allow in. And although I have been doing this for years, um, and like I said, I still was attracting in narcissists and just, you know, people that were there to challenge me in some way, um, there's still a recognition within me of how there is a huge desire for me to be in partnership you know, doing life alone isn't fun. It's not easy. It's not like, you know, because people will tell me so so often and I hear it so often that, oh, you know, you're so strong and you're so amazing and this and that. And it's like, yeah, you have no fucking idea how hard it can be to be that strong and how hard it can be to keep pushing yourself to move past your own blocks, your own barriers. It's like serious fucking work, like serious work. And it really can be tiring and exhausting at times. And sometimes you're just like, I don't fucking want to do this anymore. Like, <laughs> I don't want to keep going through this process. But you know innately that you have to. Like, you don't really have a choice. You have to keep going. You have to push yourself. And you have to break free of all of those limitations that you created within yourself because of past hurt, because of past pain and past disappointment. Like disappointment was in, was in capital letters for me when it came to relationships. And that was the biggest association that I made to partnership was disappointment because I had experienced it so much before hand. And I had to realize that, you know, like this is not the only thing that is here for me in this lifetime. And for me to experience in this lifetime, there is a lot more. This is just a process that I had to go through to kind of get to the other side of healing to to really come into this strong independent yet open place within myself not easy not easy <laughs> but but I am here I don't regret anything that I've experienced I'm not upset about anything that I've experienced because I'm past that I've processed everything um, it's just more of a recognition this full moon again because it's in Libra and because it has to do with relationships and partnerships so much it's just a recognition of where I'm at 
and a realization of how um, how blocked or how, no, blocked is not even the right word, like just how closed off, I suppose, I have been to allowing someone in. And I almost feel like there's this final processing of, of that, of that feeling or of that emotion or of those thoughts. It's just this final push to release that because there's almost like this weird, like, I don't even know, like sadness or weird... I don't even know if it's sadness. It's just this bleh, kind of feeling <laughs> within me today about, you know, when you realize something about yourself and you're like, fuck, <laughs> like, damn, like I have been doing that. And I have been the person that has not been, you know, processing things maybe in, in the best way or just recognizing that, you know, you have this thing within you that is perhaps a little bit stuck or is perhaps unhealed and then knowing that you got to do the work to heal that even that thought sometimes can be exhausting <laughs> and tiring and just like I said we don't always want to do the work but I know how incredibly important it is and I know how valuable it is to do the work because every time I do and every time I'm willing to just sit with these feelings because that's usually what I have to do like I don't have a choice today like I'm just gonna sit here with these feelings and allow it to surface and, not, and really focus on allowing it to move through me and to push through me instead of um, instead of it really draining me or pulling me down um, I'm trying to just allow it just to be there and I'm really mostly trying to be okay with feeling this way. That's one of the, my biggest hurdles is just to allow myself to be okay with maybe not being okay today <laughs> and being okay with realizing, you know, how I feel about relationships and, and how... I really have had an immense block in my life when it came to that and I built up a lot of that wall um, and while I had legitimate reasons to do that it still doesn't serve me to have that wall there and it's not something that I want to keep building it's not something that I want to keep giving energy to so it's a recognition of how can I dismantle this wall that I've put up within myself so I can finally let somebody in my life because the contradiction within me is also huge and that in itself is so draining right because I'll have this thought one day or not thought like I have a continuous desire to be in a in, in a really loving and balanced partnership while simultaneously not feeling safe to be in a loving and supportive relationship so it's like this complete contradiction and now it's the full moon is bringing up the awareness of the contradiction and asking me to release the imbalanced part of that contradiction so it's like if you truly desire to have someone in your life if you truly desire to really connect with someone that's on your level then what's in the way of that can you recognize it and can you just let it go can you allow it to to be there to observe it to recognize it and then say you know what like it really doesn't serve me to feel this way and it's it can be really challenging sometimes because the things that we feel are things that we can't always necessarily control like it's it's you know you can't help when you have a contraction or when you have this like fear within you about something that has been placed there for a reason so what can I do to, to kind of heal that, to unwind that tension uh, within myself? So I'm really just going to focus on being okay with where I am and not judging it. That's, I feel, step one for me is just to be okay uh, with where I am. And secondly, to, to really just be honest enough with myself and to recognize that like you know I've really been scared to let someone in because of all the times that I've been burnt in previous relationships however I really desire to let somebody in so 
can I just get the fuck out of my own way to let somebody in and really make it happen and you make it happen just by relaxing and just by just really letting letting it come um, and I know that's a lot of times easier said than done so yeah I um, I'm working on it and also actually recognizing your astrology because something that I discovered is that I have a Capricorn moon having a Capricorn moon is not an easy thing because the moon uh, symbolizes and regulates our emotions uh, and connects to the emotions on an energetic level so if the moon if my moon was in the sign of Capricorn at the time that I was born that means that this is something that I'm already kind of bringing in with myself it actually kind of shows me that I've already had past life trauma when it came to relationships. So for me, expressing my feelings isn't always easy. Um, and it's certainly not something that I always feel safe to do, uh, especially when it comes to partnership. So I have to really recognize that within myself and work on just really letting that go for this lifetime and really allowing myself to feel safe and just reworking my mind when it comes to this and, and helping myself understand that it is perfectly safe for me to let someone in and it's perfectly safe for you to let someone in we just have to not only look at it differently but really feel differently about it and i think and i feel that's why it's a really good thing that this is now emerging from within me and moving through because it's helping me understand that it's something that I really got to let go. Like I'm not going to be able to attract somebody into my life if I'm going to be hung up and stuck on, you know, past fears. Like how fucking long am I going to be afraid to let somebody in? Because if I keep going <laughs> with the way that I've been going, then, you know, I'm going to be alone for a really long fucking time. <laughs> so it's really up to me to shift myself energetically to open up. So yeah, I'm gonna work on that and I encourage you guys to work on that as well if this resonates and yeah, I don't, I'm not always going to, like authenticity is so much more important to me than, than to sit here and try to like put out like this happy-go-lucky video every week. I'm not gonna do that. Like I just need to be me and I, I wanna be real and you know, I wanna be real about how some days you know you're good and other days you're not. And when you're not, that it's really just about looking at why and then sitting with it and processing it and saying, you know what, like I'm kind of done with this feeling, like I'm ready to just move out of it and pick myself back up and then start doing things which I was already doing yesterday and I will be doing more of today, just picking myself up with like different things, watching funny videos and like getting myself kind of out of it. Because I feel like I've sat in it now for a, a bit, and even though today I feel it heavier than, than I've felt it all week, um, I don't want to linger in it too long, because sometimes if pain is what you've been used to, then you're going to almost tend to gravitate toward sitting in pain for a long period of time, because you're used to it, it's a familiar, comfortable feeling. So I have to remind myself of that also, and be like, okay, We've done a lot of the pain stuff in the past, and you sat with it a lot in the past. This time when pain comes up or when something comes up that is uncomfortable, then, you know, sit with it for a bit, process it, journal about it, cry if you need to, do whatever the fuck you need to, and then move on. Like, just get on with it and, and don't sink into it. Just be like, okay, now let's have a nice cup of tea, and now let's listen to some nice music or let's uh, watch something really funny or I'll watch like, I don't know, baby videos, <laughs> just anything that's super lighthearted and that'll like elevate me. Um, so yeah, so it's just a, a short message I wanted to deliver about feelings and emotions and partnerships and relationships and everything that could be coming up for you at this time. So yeah, just keeping it real guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.